I'm going to take you back to corporate news and Chevron CEO Mark, Mike Worth, of course, has been looking for, well, sort of investment opportunities in unlikely places. And he's also been discussing how his company is pursuing technology and what he's expecting on the horizon from a new administration in Washington. Take a listen. This country, the U.S., is really blessed with um, a, a creative set of dynamics in our economy that makes it really the most innovative country in the world in, in so many different ways. And, uh, and we see innovation coming out of partnerships we have with universities, with national labs, with startup companies. We've got a big venture capital company that invests in new ideas and uh, entrepreneurs that, uh, that have a, a flash of genius. And oftentimes that flash uh, ultimately doesn't materialize, but sometimes it does. And so uh, we, uh, we try to engage outside of our traditional boundaries uh, to see the art of the possible and, and to advance our business every day. I'm always fascinated by those sorts of VC parts of the business. Is that to eventually potentially just partner with the companies that you invest in? Is it to just make sure that you're in, involving yourself in these conversations? Is it to buy these sorts of companies? Probably not to buy them because, mm. uh, you know, very large companies like ours, we've learned, uh, operate in, um, in, a, in a mature manner uh, that uh, brings with it a whole host of things as a publicly traded large uh, enterprise. Uh, startup companies have uh, a unique culture that um, sometimes is not compatible with that. And so we invest, uh, we have seats on board, sometimes as an active participant, sometimes as an observer. Uh, but we really want to provide capital. Uh, we want to provide advice. Uh, we want to provide markets and test beds where these technologies and ideas can be brought into the real world and the uh, scale up from bench to pilot plant to real world application uh, might fit into our business and we can help prove out some of these ideas. And so it's really uh, in pursuit of a synergistic uh, kind of a, an effect with these companies as they grow and hopefully we become a, a, an investor, a partner, a customer, a supplier. Those relationships can take many different forms when these companies succeed. You're talking, Mike, really well there about sort of how you see the innovation within the United States. How how are you seeing the U.S. as it launches itself into a new political era? We've got a new administration coming in at the turn of the year. And what does that mean for you? What does the conversation with the new Biden administration mean for a Chevron? Well, you know, it's certainly been a, um, it's been a challenging year politically in this country, to say the least. And uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the new administration is just in its uh, early formative uh, phase right now. So... Uh, I, I, I can't really comment specifically on that as much as I would say uh, we've been around for over 140 years. We've operated under um, Democratic administrations, Republican administrations, uh, split government, unified government, through economic cycles, political cycles. And what we've found is that there is common ground always uh, that we can find with, uh, with any government in this country or another country. And... Uh, Governments want to see economic development. They want to see prosperity for their people. Uh, they want to see a cleaner environment. Uh, the kinds of things that are a priority, uh, irrespective of party, are the things that we believe in as well. And so that's where we begin our conversation, is at common values, common ground, and then what the priorities are of the administration and what we can do to help them advance those priorities. And while we never have 100% alignment, frankly, probably with either side of the aisle, there are more things we can agree on than that we disagree on. Are you expecting more regulation? I, I think we, we, we are. I mean, I think the, uh, you know, the, you know, Vice President Biden has made it clear that he intends to uh, take some of the regulatory agenda in a different direction than we've seen under the current administration. And, uh, but, but my point, Caroline, is we've seen this before. We, we've mm -hmm. dealt with it before. We've got relationships with all the regulatory agencies and the professionals in those, um, you know, those organizations. And uh, this isn't anything new. It's something that we are prepared for because it's part and parcel of, of our business.